Hello, I'm Jeff from ePass Performance, and I'm here to present you today our new columns for early trucks uh, based on the I Did It column. Whether you have a floor mounted shifter or whether you have an automatic column shift, we can adapt to either of those trucks. Whether you have a Ford, a GM, a Mopar, um, or a Hudson, or a Studebaker, we can adapt to all of those vehicles. On the floor mounted version, whether it's a manual or an automatic, we can place the motor just about anywhere depending on your uh, under dash room. On the automatic column shift, we are a little bit limited by the uh, possibility of placing the uh, shifter mechanism. Now, I'll leave it up to Jim to show you how to install these two in a truck. Hi, I'm Jim from ePass Performance. We're getting ready to show you an install on our Idetic columns and a 56 Ford F100. First order of business, we're going to go ahead and unhook the battery, and then we're going to remove the steering column all the way from the dash mount all the way to the floor plate. Now that we have the floor plate made, we've purchased from Idetic a column mount and a floor swivel. Now we're going to go ahead and install our steering column, starting with this end first through the swivel, and then we'll go ahead and tighten it up to the column drop. Now that the steering column is installed, the motor's clocked properly. There's a few other things you're going to need to do. You're going to go ahead and need to hook up the rest of the steering from the front of the steering column forward to whatever you have as in front end in the truck. Then we're going to need to mount the ECU and we're going to need to mount the shifter cable. Okay, the ECU consists of switched power, potentiometer for steering feedback, steering sensor, and battery power. And we're going to need to find this place underneath the dashboard for a good installation. You're going to go ahead and need to hook the shift cable up and get everything adjusted correctly. Now that the ECU is mounted, shift cable is run through the firewall, the I did it steering column installation is complete. We're getting ready to show you the install on the floor shift model, either for automatic or manual transmission. We went ahead and changed our floor mount swivel and our column drop. And we'll go ahead and start with our install. Now that I've installed the I did it steering column, we're gonna go ahead and hook the ECU up to the motor and that should complete our installation of the floor shift I did it steering column. Thank you very much for watching the video.